Okay, um, I'm kind of tense, but anyways, it's face in the house, everyone! Woo yeah, exactly. So I'm the first speaker, so I'm gonna make sure this speak this uh, speech is gonna be filled with energy. So let's go. As you can see, this is my luck every time. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you guys something. One night at 2 a.m., school night, I was cruising through YouTube, and I saw a video with the title, What Happens to Your Brain When You Don't Sleep? It was a five-minute video, so I thought there was no harm in watching it. But the professor in the video was talking about problems people face when they sleep for five or six hours. And I was about to head to school in three hours. Just imagine my face at that point. I've been barely sleeping for the past two years. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're going to ask me what I would do, I would stay up watching series. And for people who watch series over here, we all know the biggest lie is, okay, last episode, and you end up watching the complete season. Today I had the freedom to speak on any topic, but I chose a topic that we can all benefit from. Something really normal at this certain time and date. Sleep deprivation or lack of sleep. It is something so basic, so common in our lives right now that we don't even think about it. But what if I had to tell you that it is way dangerous than we can even imagine? It affects us socially, personally, and it has become a local issue too. In 2011, a child administrator of Al Ain police, Hamid Al Bulushi, suggested all motorists from other Emirates heading to Al Ain to either get enough hours of sleep or find a spot to sleep in on the way because drowsy driving was increasing the number of accidents to Al Ain. To be honest, I can't imagine myself sleeping or driving too because my mom drops me to school and I sleep even in that time. <laughs> in 2013, the National published an article with the headline, You will eat lifestyle enough to keep us awake at night. Which is so true. If you think about it, we all have different reasons for staying up late. Could be stress, kids, work, exams, IGs, and all the stuff. <laughs> could be problems with the neighborhood, bedtime routines, but the lifestyle is a common reason in all of us. We live in an era where we are shocked to find people who voluntarily sleep early. You see a person posting a good night snap at 9 p.m. and you're like, it's sad being this guy. <laughs> February 2018, this same year, IKEA commissioned a survey to check how many people are sleep deprived. But they should, have changed to idea, they should have changed the idea to how many people are not sleep deprived. Nine out of 10 do not sleep in the recommended time, which is drum roll, eight to 10 hours for teenagers and seven to nine hours for adults. 90% of all teenagers do not sleep in the recommended time. And the lucky people that do sleep for eight hours or more are 9.15% of Dubai's population. Now, I don't know if that's sad or shocking or a bit of both, but can I have a raise of hands if you sleep in the recommended time? Lies. <laughs> 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 the main point here is we're so less. The people who sleep are only 9.15% of Dubai's population, so they deserve it, guys. You guys are doing good. Come on, they deserve it, they deserve it. <laughs> now, there are certain traits that sleep-deprived people have. First of all, mood swings. Not sleeping ruins the performance of the prefrontal cortex in your brain, which manages your emotions. So it becomes a full mixed fruit inside there. You get sick more often. If you sleep less than seven hours, you're three times close to catching a cold than a person who sleeps seven hours or more. Because it is only in your deep sleep where your body produces infection-fighting cells. Not sleeping makes you miss out, on the uh, miss out on the production of these cells and weakens your defenses. Craving desserts. Bam, 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 that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Common problem, people. 
this is with all of us. We all have this problem. As you can see, I treat myself well. <laughs> <laughs> I like your laugh, man. I like your laugh. <laughs> this is because when you stay up, your body produces a hormone known as ghrelin that feeds on specifically sugary foods. But at the same time, man, this is so sad. At the same time, you miss out on the production of a chemical known as leptin that makes you full. So what does that mean? You'll be eating more, and it'll take you longer to become full. In the long run, this could lead to obesity or diabetes. Now focus on this point. Lack of sleep makes it hard for your brain to store new memories. Have you ever heard the phrase, man, I don't remember what I ate today morning, and you expect me to remember what happened two days ago? This is where it came from. Let's move away from the science. Let me explain this in a way we all can understand. Now, take your sleep as Wi-Fi and this memory as an email you want to send. The weaker your internet, the longer it would take to send the email, right? It goes the same way with sleep and memories. The less you sleep, the longer it would take to store these memories. Now, as I said in the beginning, Sleep deprivation is very dangerous. What we now know of is men that sleep for five hours or less are on a level of testosterone of a person 10 years their senior. This means a 15-year-old boy who sleeps for five hours or less is on a level of testosterone of a 25-year-old man. I mean, that's not fair. You just can't add 10 years like that. But if you think about it, this means this 15-year-old boy has more possibilities of fatigue, decreased body mass, bone and muscle mass, and other disadvantages. We also know that sleep deprivation can, can affect you in one night. After staying up for 16 hours, your body will experience a mental and physical downturn. After staying up for 19 hours, your, be your brain behaves as that of a drunk driver. Exactly. <laughs> Scientists say a night of four hours sleep will decrease 70% of what we call natural killer cells that are anti-cancer cells. Doctors can predict your possibility of having cancer of the breast, bowel, or prostate by your lack of sleep. Did you know that it is only in your deep sleep where your body gives you this amazing treatment where your heart rate and blood pressure go down. But it works the other way around when you don't sleep. They both increase, and for a person who sleeps for six hours or less, can have a 200% increased risk of having a fatal heart attack. Now, these are just some few explained points. <laughs> but sleep deprivation can lead to strokes, paranoia, hallucinations, hypertension. And why would you choose the disadvantages than the advantages of sleep? Scientists always find out and discover new advantages of sleep every year. We know that it promotes positivity, keeps you alert and attentive throughout the day, avoids you from accidents such as drowsy driving. But I've come up with solutions they will 100% push, push sleep deprivation out of your life. And it's so simple. All you have to do is contact Baines. Now, as you can see, Baines is an expert in the science of sleep. He sleeps anywhere, anytime. And that's my accounting book, by the way. <laughs> so I decided to tell him about my problem. And he, he didn't like it. He was angry. I'm sorry, man. And he was confused. And he told me that we can make a deal that I teach him more accounting, and he'd tell me the secret to healthy sleeping. But we got fooled. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you want to push sleep deprivation out of your life, first thing you have to do is get up early morning. Face the sun. Our brain saves everything that we do but it does not like to adapt to new changes because that requires more work. Like, man, who knew even our brain is lazy? 
But the main point in this is, if you continue in the same pattern, your brain will not want to go back to its former self. Exercise. Choose the time suitable for you, whether you want to exercise in the morning so you can be alert throughout the day, or before you sleep so you can sleep easily. I prefer working out before I sleep. And then I take longer time and then I sleep late. It works always. <laughs> coffee drinkers. Drink coffee in the morning, but not six hours before you sleep. I just heard someone said. <laughs> <laughs> now the problem with this is, your laugh is so cute, man. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with this is, caffeine blocks sleep-inducing chemicals and hormones to reach the brain. So you need at least six hours so that it can slowly break down. This, this may seem hard to do, especially on weekdays, but you need to try something to keep yourself busy so that you don't have to sleep in the afternoon as it delays your nighttime sleep, which is more valuable and more preferred for you. Scientists suggest 18 degrees Celsius as the perfect temperature to go to sleep. And a warm shower just makes it better. But I feel like they probably over-exaggerated that point. I sleep with 21 degrees Celsius, it's fine. And it's too cold, you know? But I mean, whatever makes you sleep at night. <laughs> now, I just found out, I thought this was just me, but apparently, overthinking is essential before sleep. Could be something you should have said in a fight, a test you've recently done, a TEDx speech coming up. <laughs> but the thing is, overthinking should stay in class and in the shower. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you need to find a way suitable for you to, av to avoid it. I personally have a playlist called Songs That Help Me Sleep. Now, it is always suggested to have a protein snack before you sleep. As proteins contain an amino acid called as tryptophan, which encourages sleep. Something like milk is always suggested. Now, this is the hardest point, so I kept it as the last. We must leave our electronic devices one hour before we sleep. This is because our phones and other electronic devices emit blue light, which makes it hard for us to sleep. It makes you feel like you're sleepy, but in fact, it fools you and delays your sleep. Is it only me, but when you're on your phone, you feel like time's going faster? You guys are saying yes to everything, okay. <laughs> but I chose this, this topic because I felt like I was going through too much. I cannot sleep at 2 a.m. on school days. That's too much, guys. Okay, we, all, we should agree on this, okay? Be, the, be there with me. I tested these on myself in spring, and then I got interrupted by exams in Ramadan, but I'm hopefully going to get back to it. But I feel like Dubai has done a lot for its people, and it's time for us to give back by being the most productive that we can. Hashtag Dubai Sleeps by an amazing professional TEDx speaker, Strike Through. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>